With so many high profile football players being impacted by CTE, it's natural that parents are wondering, should I let my child play this sport? I'm here today in the lab of BU CTE researcher Anne McKee to talk with her about what's actually happening to brains during football play. Thanks so much for sitting down with me today in your lab. Can you tell us where we are? Yeah, this is the lab at Jamaica Plain, the VA at Jamaica Plain. This is where we do all the magic. No, this is where we process all the slides. Here is where we make the diagnosis on people that have donated their brain. But of course, the research is all satellites and, and offshoots. At this point, you've looked at hundreds, or is it now more than a thousand brains with CTE? We have about 850 brains in. It's probably higher than that today. Wow. Uh, we've analyzed somewhere between 650 and 700 of them. Can you take me back to the day that you looked at the first brain of a football player where you saw signs of CTE? I had looked at boxers' brains and I'd been really floored uh, to see the changes, these really profound neurodegenerative changes uh, in boxers, just florid amounts of tau, this abnormal protein building up all over the brain. And it was in a very peculiar constellation. It circled around blood vessels. It involved parts of the brain that aren't affected in things like Alzheimer's disease. So it was, it was truly you know, mis mysterious mm -hmm. to me. And then when I looked at the first football player, I knew he was 45 years old. When I looked at his brain grossly, when we looked at it with the naked eye, it looked fine. And I thought, is this what's going on in football players? I'm a huge football fan. I've been watching the games for decades and I had no clue that they were getting brain trauma but could they be you know that was a whole whole new door for me to push open and see and so I, I looked finally we got the slides back on this 45 year old and he had extraordinary disease I mean it was it was florid disease tau everywhere and that just blew me away I mean it I I was just stunned and when we look at these slides and I think we have some Oh, I'd love to see them. We can actually see the tau with the naked eye. And this is Aaron Hernandez, 27 years old. In these particular areas of the brain, it all just looks like just tiny dots. But those dots are in areas that are really affecting brain function. You have to have deep, deep pathology to be able to see it with the naked eye. This is not a trivial amount of disease. Ordinarily, uh, you can only see it under the microscope when you, you know, magnify it hundreds and hundreds of times. And then these are older football players, and it gives you an idea of what it becomes. So these are 20-year-olds, and this is a 65-year-old. It's and, really and remarkable yeah, how much. Yeah, you start to see it spreads. It spreads, it involves more and more regions of brain. It just starts encompassing vast regions. Do the effects of football play as a young person, do they snowball and continue to get worse in someone like this brain here? In most individuals, it will progress. And the longer they live, the worse their disease will get, not only pathologically, but their symptoms will get worse. Parents right now are starting to make those decisions that are gonna you know, shape the next generation of football players. If you could talk to parents who are struggling with that decision right now of whether to let their child play football, what would you say to those parents from your perspective? Well, I th you know, there's no question that sports, physical fitness, team sports, athletic endeavors are hugely important uh, to a child's development, not just physical, but social development. And uh, I would never want our kids not to be physically active and engaged in sports. But at the same time, I would say to a parent, there is clear evidence uh, that you're putting your child at risk if they play American football. We found that for every 2.6 years of playing football, every 2.6 years of playing football, your risk for CTE doubles. It didn't matter if it was NFL football or Pee Wee mm -hmm. football, it was just years of football. If you're dead set on having them play football or if they want to play football and can't be uh, persuaded to play something else, um, I would ask that they uh, start at a later age, so at least they're not getting the dose of, of a high number of years of football. And I would ask them to play in a conservative way, you know, protecting their head, not using their helmet as a weapon, conscious of the fact that you have one brain 
uh, one very special and fragile brain. Uh, and you know, you need to behave in ways that keep it safe.